Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the different ways that you can install the official OpenAI Chat GPT app on Windows 11 or on Windows 10. On a previous lesson, I shared with you the steps to install ChatGPT as a web application. Now, if you have a paid subscription, you can install the official app. However, to everyone's surprise, the official app is nothing more than a web application with a native app wrapper. The only difference is that you can use the Alt plus space keyboard shortcut to open the app directly. Now, just to make it super clear, the app is available for everyone to download, but in order to sign in and use the application, because it's an early version, it's only available for those with a plus team enterprise or education subscriptions. This is not official, but I do suspect when the app becomes officially available, and it's no longer in preview, it will be available for everyone. If you don't have a subscription, check the video description to the link to the video on how to install ChatGPT as a web application, which is the same thing. Okay, let's dive into the installation steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, the first method that we're going to use is the Microsoft Store. And to install the ChatGPT app, let's do this. Open Start and look for the Microsoft Store. Then we're going to look for ChatGPT and then select the app from the result. Then you just need to click the Install button. And then the app will be installed on the computer and you can click the Open button, but you can also find the app from the Start menu. As you can see, this is technically the web application with a app wrapper, nothing more. Now, if you want to get rid of the application, you should simply need to open Star and then look for settings. Then we're going to go to apps, install apps. Then we're going to look for ChatGPT and click the uninstall button. Now, the second method that we're going to use is command prompt. And to do that, open start and look for command prompt or the terminal. I like to use a terminal, so I'm going to use that and I need to run the standard administrator. And to install the application, we need to use the win get command like this. Win get install ID and you need to type this identification for the ChatGPT app and then just press enter. Type yes to agree to the terms. Actually just press Y and press enter. Now, if we open the start menu and we look for ChatGPT, we can see that it's right here. Now, if you no longer need the application, you can also uninstall it using the winget command, but you will need to use the uninstall option and the same identification for the application. And then just press enter. And now the app has been uninstalled from the computer. Now, the last method that we're going to look at is to use the Dev Home app to install the ChatGPT official application on your computer. And to do that, open Start and look for Dev Home. Then let's go to Machine Configuration and then click on Install Applications. So this is basically the uh, Windows Packet Manager, but using an actual visual interface. And in here, if you type ChatGPT, the app is not going to show. It's going to show different apps. They're not the official ones. So what you need to type is the actual identification number for the application and the Microsoft Store. And as you can see, it appears right here. And make sure to understand that this is an early version and it's only available for Plus, Team, Enterprise, and Education Editions. From here, just click the Plus button to add it to the list. Then click the Next button. Check this option and then click the setup button to install ChatGPT on Windows 11 or Windows 10. And that's it. Now, if you no longer need the application, you can uninstall it from the settings app like any other app. And to do that, open settings, go to apps, install apps. And from here, I'm just going to look for the ChatGPT app, open the menu and select the uninstall option. 
But for now, I'm just going to leave the application installed on my computer. Now, here's a tip. If you have one of those new computers that include a keyboard with the physical key to open Copilot, you know that that button no longer works because the Copilot integration is not longer into the operating system and it's now a web application similar to ChatGPT. And Microsoft is actually adding a feature to allow you to customize the physical Copilot key to open any other application that is available from the Microsoft Store or is using the M6 package. So if you happen to have the latest version of Windows 11 that includes that feature, you can actually map the ChatGPT app to open when you press the Copala key button. And to do that, open start and look for settings. Then you need to go to personalization and then open text input. Then you're going to find the customized Copala key on keyboard. And from here, select the custom option. And as you can see, the official ChatGPT app is going to show up in the list. Select that and click the select button. Now, if you have that physical Copilot key, you will be able to press it and that would actually open the ChatGPT app directly. And that's it. Those are the different ways that you can use to install the ChatGPT app on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. And I also show you how you can take advantage of the setting to change the action for the Copala key button so it opens ChatGPT on your computer. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.